How's it going everybody? My name is Mulder and welcome back to the Game Cron. Today is Cyberpunk 2077 Cyberware Techie Build. In this video I'll showcase what type of cyberware I'm currently running with this build, along with the fact of what type of perks I've unlocked within the technical ability tree, which of course is focusing on engineering. I'll also be showcasing the projectile launch system and why it works so well with this build. All that and more straight ahead. If you enjoyed this video and find it helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. Let's dive into this build with the Cyber Cyberware first, starting off with the Arasaka MK4, which of course is legendary. This cyber deck comes with 10 base RAM, 8 buffer size, and 6 slots to put in your favorite quick hacks you enjoy using in this game. It allows you to perform quick hacks on targets and devices while scanning. It decreases the RAM cost of covert quick hacks by 2. Quick hacking an enemy affected by ping will reset the duration of ping and increases the combat quick hack duration by 40%. Really useful for not only going in guns blazing with this build, but also if you like to stealth a little bit first. Synaptic Signal Optimizer, which can increase your health by 40%. Bionic Joint, which reduces the recoil of ranged weapons. And for your hand is Smart Link, which is legendary. This allows you to use a smart targeting module on smart weapons, increasing the chance for smart bullets to hit targets by 10% and critical hit damage by 30%. This is extremely useful, especially if you like to use smart sniper rifles or, for example, smart submachine guns. And next up, one of my favorite pieces about this build is the projectile launch system. The projectile launch system makes me feel like I'm Iron Man, because the projectile launcher allows you to unleash various powerful projectiles doing various types of damage, as well as causing explosions and applying status effects. I'll be going over in detail in a few moments here about what powerful projectiles you can actually equip to your projectile launching system. Link's Pause, which allows you to move and run more quietly. Subdermal Armor, which is at Legendary, which increases your overall armor. Superdermal Weave, which grants immunity to bleeding. Grounding Plating, which grants immunity to shock. Synoptic Accelerator, which slows down time by 30% for 2 seconds when you're detected by enemies. Neofiber, which increases your evasion. The Catarsist, which increases all your resilience. Shock and Awe, which after taking damage, there's a 2% chance of unleashing a large electric shock that deals damage to nearby enemies, along with the fact of knocking them down. The Feedback Circuit, which increases and restores 6% of your health when you discharge a fully charged weapon. This works well when you're using tech weapons. The Micro Generator, which is at Legendary, which when your health drops to 10%, it releases an electric shock that deals damage equal to 50% of the target enemy's max health. The Bioplastic Blood Vessels, which increases your overall health regen outside of combat. And the Kiroshi Optics Mark III, which enhances your vision and also works well with your smart weapons. The Olympic System Enhancement, which is at Legendary, which increases your critical hit chance by 30%. The Mechatronic Core, which is at Legendary, which increases your damage to drones, mechs, and robots by 50%. And then finally, the Visual Cortex Support, which increases your critical hit damage by 30%. Now all of this tech and raw power makes you a dangerous character to come up against, but now we're going to talk about the projectile launch system and what type of projectiles you can put into your arm. There are a variety of rounds you could put into your projectile launcher. The four that I have so far have chemical rounds, electric rounds, explosive rounds, and even thermal rounds. My personal favorite is either using the chemical rounds or the explosion rounds, especially when you're outnumbered easily 10 to 1. Not only is the projectile launch system great for crowd control, but it's also great to unleash pure chaos on the battlefield, and literally torching or blowing up everything in your path. But now let's dive into the technical ability and engineering skill tree. First off, my technical ability is at level 20, followed by my engineering which is at level 7. But now let's dive into the perks within engineering that I've vested a lot of my perk points into that I've gotten the best results so far. Starting off on the left is the superconductor, then fuck all walls, insulation, gun whisperer, lock and load, up to 11, bigger booms, can't touch this, mech looter, blast shielding, shrapnel, grenadier, blade runner, uber charge, tesla, lightning bolt, lickety split, play the angles, and jackpot. All of these perks focus heavily on increasing the power and accuracy of both your smart and technical weapons, while also increasing the damage output of your grenades, while also surviving the explosions as well. One of my favorite perks that I recently unlocked, which is Superconductor, which allows all of my tech weapons to ignore armor. This is a fantastic perk to have when you're using a tech weapon at long range, taking out armored foes or those within a mech. It can melt these guys down quickly from a safe distance. But yes, these perks are fantastic to use if you're a big fan of smart and tech weapons, along with the fact of using a lot of explosions, which you will definitely get used to using if you choose to get the projectile launch system. Another great thing to know about the technical ability is that the level that this thing should be at in order for you to get the best perks out of it is between a level level 13 to the max level of 20. Once you're at the right level, you'll be able to take down cameras to increase your engineering level. You can change the target 
targeting mechanism on turrets to where they'll no longer target you, but your foes for you once battle starts. But the best thing about technical ability once you get it to a high level is unlocking doors, especially hidden doors, to where you can find sometimes rare to legendary loot inside. Having my technical ability up at max level has allowed me to get tons of rare gear once I've gone exploring, to tons of euro dollars slash eddies. Just overall, it has allowed my gaming experience to be even more fun within Cyberpunk 2077. But this build definitely focuses on heavy firepower using some of the best tech and smart weapons and explosions you can run around with. So I truly hope you have a blast running this techie build, because I definitely have. And that's it for our Cyberpunk 2077 Cyberware techie build. If you found this video helpful and fun, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. I got more videos planned for Cyberpunk 2077, but if you're a big fan of these build videos, definitely check out our Netrunner and also Street Brawler build. I'll be working on a stealth build very soon as well, so be sure to stick around. More videos are coming for Cyberpunk 2077 and other RPGs once they're released later on into the new year, but until then, I'm Mulder, and thank you so much for joining me in the Game Cron. We've got chaos!